Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. Positive risk driving equities higher, whilst major forex consolidates around pivots. Video analysis HTTP ntvforex.com News ID CE3 FB5825202012368 PM Market Overview Finally, after more than a week of procrastination, the S&P 500 has burst through its February resistance to post all-time highs. The move came with encouraging news flow on COVID treatment US FDA authorizing a plasma treatment of patients with the virus and potential use of vaccinations in the US although this is unconfirmed. Add to that the news that phone conversations between US and Chinese top-level trade delegates over the progress of phase 1 of the trade deal were encouraging. With Wall Street powering to new all-time highs there is a positive attitude to risk appetite across major markets. This is reflected in a move higher on U.S. Treasury yields and a subdued outlook on gold. However, whilst the U.S. dollar is a shade weaker today, there is a sense of consolidation across major forex pairs. Looming large this week is a speech by Fed Chair Jerome Powell which could define the path of monetary policy in the months and possibly years to come. Even though there are some interesting data points in the coming days U.S. consumer confidence today, is unlikely that traders will take too much of a view ahead of such an important speech. We therefore see your USD gravitating around 1.1800, cable around 1.3100 and dollar yen around 106, all of which are old pivot areas. This sense of consolidation is also across gold and silver again. Despite this though, the rally on equities looks set to continue today. Wall Street closed decisively higher with S&P 500 1.0% at 34.30 and way into all-time highs. It does not seem to be stopping there either, with futures ticking further higher today e-mini S&P 0.4%. Asian markets were broadly higher with the Nikkei 1.4% but Shanghai Composite was 0.4%. European markets also look to be set fair with FTSE futures 0.4% and DAX futures 0.7% early today. In Forex, the risk-positive vibe is helping Euro and GBP rebound slightly, whilst AUD is also performing well. Once more we see NZD as the main drag. In commodities, gold and silver are trading around the flat line, whilst oil is also mixed. There is a clutch of US data points on the economic calendar today but the key data kicks off with the German EFO business climate at 0900 BST. The EFO for August is expected to improve to 92.2 from 90.5 in July. This is expected to be driven by improvements in both the current conditions component to 87.0 from 84.5 and expectations component to 98.0 from 97.0. Then into the U.S. session the data begins with the S&P Case Schiller House Price Index which is expected to improve to 3.8% in June from 3.7% in May. U.S. Conference Board Consumer Confidence is at 1500 BST and is expected to improve in August to 93.0 from 92.6 in July. New home sales also at 1500 BST is expected to improve by 1.3% to 785,000 in July from 776,000 in June. The final data will be of note as regional Fed surveys have tended to falter in August and come in with negative surprises, with the Richmond Fed Composite Index expected to remain at 1010 in July. NBSP chart of the day A or JPY the outlook for the euro rally has reached an important inflection point and this is reflected well on euro yen. After six consecutive sessions of losses, Friday AS low was almost to the pip of the old key breakout level of 124.40. However, this appears to have been supportive and building on this yesterday with a mild positive candlestick the basis of support between 124.30 124.40 is holding for now. The bulls may have been disappointed that a 5-week uptrend has been broken, but a bigger 15-week uptrend that originated in early May is still intact today at 124.25 and adds to the support around 124.40. The bulls need to work hard though, as a mini two-week downtrend is intact at 125.45 today and near-term momentum indicators are mixed.
stochastics and MACD lines are pulling lower whilst the RSI needs to hold above 50 to sustain otherwise the corrective outlook with gather force. For now, this is a near-term correction within a medium-term bull trend. However, how the market reacts around 124.25-125.40 in the coming days will be key as to whether this is a buying opportunity or not. For now we still hold a positive view of the euro but the bulls need to work hard now. A decisive close under 124.25 opens a move back towards 122-123 and seriously question the bull control. Holding 124.40 is important and a decisive move above 125.55 would help to regain bull confidence for a retest of 126.75. NBSP Brent Crude Oil After a run of disappointing closes on Brent Crude, a decisive and solid session of gains has started the week off on the right note for the bulls. A move which has strengthened support at $43.60 $43.90 has helped to improve failing momentum as stochastics and MACD stabilize and RSI holds in the mid-high 50s. It also seems to be stabilizing what had threatened to be a corrective drift that had threatened to drag the market decisively below the 21-day moving average which has been a basis of support for the recovery rising today around $44.60. The bulls now need to put together a run of positive sessions to get their confidence fully restored, and an early tick higher today is a good start. They will therefore be eyeing last week a S reaction high of $45.55 as initial resistance to test. Beyond that the barrier of the $45.80 $46.25 resistance remains the key move still. The hourly chart shows initial support at $44.30 $44.75. NBSP Dow Jones Industrial Average Breakout Across the Major Wall Street Markets With the S&P 500 bursting to new all-time highs, we see the Dow accelerating higher. A third positive close in a row and a decisive move through resistance at 28,155 takes the Dow to its highest level since February. The move looks strongly configured technically, with the use of the June breakout support around 27,580 leaving good support now in a band 27,525 27,580. Momentum is strong with the stochastics crossing higher and RSI into the 70s to reflect a strength of the trend. The next test is to finally a close of the old February bear gap at 28,428,890. This move has similar hallmarks to the previous early August rally which came after a period of slight consolidation drift lower. That move posted a run of seven decisive positive closes. We look to use intraday weakness as a chance to buy. Initial breakout support comes in at 28,000 .28 The all-time high of 29,568 should not be ruled out in due course although there is likely to be another corrective phase prior to that. NBSP read more analysis here Euro USD, GBP USD, USD JPY, Gold. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at https://mt5.expert.advisors.